is from Rebecca. I've been told and read that the food you eat affects your brain and your moods. Is that true? And then what food should I avoid and what foods should I eat? And are there any supplements that improve brain function? Well, the answer to both of those is yes. There are supplements that help. And food has a definite effect on, on your brain. I mean, your brain is the most energy dependent tissue in your body. Um, four seconds without oxygen and your brain shuts down. Right. So it, it, there's, it's, it doesn't store anything there. You need to constantly be feeding it. That's a great way to learn about that. That really is. Yeah, yeah. And, and it that's, doesn't store anything. It doesn't, there's no, that. yeah, there's nothing stored in your brain. Right. It's all neurons. Sure, there's fat there, but it's not fat that you want to digest right, right, and right. use. So it's totally dependent on what's coming from your body. Uh -huh. And it's very much influenced by what's coming from your body. Now, there have been studies that have looked at the impact of diet on brain function. And it's complicated, but the basics are the good news is that what's good for your heart is for the most part good for your brain. What's good for your tissues in general and your joints is good for the brain. So we're talking about so an, vegetables and fruits? Right, an anti-inflammatory uh, diet. Uh -huh. And they've, researchers have looked at the effect of like a typical American diet of fast food and added sugar oh on mood. And, and it's really bad. I mean, right. it contributes to depression. Mm -hmm. You get people off that kind of diet and their mood really improves. Right. And for your brain function, are, are there supplements for memory? I mean, there, I've read so many yeah. and tried so many things. <laughs> for a long there, time, there was something, oh, I forgot the name of it, it started with a K, that was supposedly the supplement for memory. Well, there isn't the supplement. Yeah. The best researched and the most effective in my experience is, is a form of lecithin called phosphatidylserine. Uh, standard lecithin, which has some good effects, is phosphatidylcholine. This is a little bit different, and there are numerous studies showing that this improves not only a brain function and memory, but immune function. Mm -hmm. So that's my, that's my first choice go-to. And the other are omega-3s. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I like to combine the phosphatidylserine with DHA, which is the omega-3 that most impacts on memory and wow. brain function. We've got to put that up. That's important. Yeah, I think it's really That's important. That's really important.